Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to the AHS Music Technology Collaborative Concert featuring the wonderful AHS Orchestra. Well, we've got a really fantastic program for you tonight. We've got some music, we've got some videos, we've got some music paired with videos, and we have some really wonderful live pieces by the AHS Honors Orchestra. That's very sensitive. Uh, so our first piece for you tonight is Composition in E Major by Spencer Carmen. Spencer's note reads, I started composing this song a couple weeks ago with a simple piano riff as the intro. I then got the idea to add some more orchestral feel with many violins and adding support harmonies. I felt as though this helped to convey the somewhat heroic nature of the piece. Finally, I used, a, I used the program of MuseCore, a digital, a digital notation software, to compose the song and export the audio you will hear this evening. Quick plug for MuseCore, we hope you enjoy. That was Upward Spiral by Luke Sheehan. Our next piece is our first live piece of the evening, Gen Kino Horo by Semyonov, featuring the AHS Honors Orchestra, featuring Van Tiger on bass, Vivian Kalik on viola, Madeline Blandy on violin, and Shilu Wang also on violin. A Gen Kino Horo is a Bulgarian folk dance in the unusual time signature of 1116. You poor bastards. This piece, written by Vyacheslav Semyonov, is the high point of our group's creativity. The building introduction and the several solos were all improvised by students. The need for creativity was a driving force during rehearsals. 
breaking up the more normal, classical repertoire with this esoteric project where we could experiment with whatever we thought of. And that student-led creativity is showed by the fact that there, nobody will be conducting this song. We hope you enjoy. The AHS Honors Orchestra, everybody. That was surprisingly funky. I wasn't expecting that. That was very, very joyous. Um, the next piece is You Don't Like Mayo, Mastering produ Production and Mixing by Zeke Rice. Zeke Rice. This song was heavily influenced by the genre Daria Corps, like the 90s TV show which essentially mashes up funny samples, constant pop culture references, and catchy vocal samples from hit songs into fast-paced, chaotic, distorted electronic madness. In other words, the 90s are alive and well. 
For this track, I sampled vocals from three songs unique from each other, Talk by Biyarabu, Western Union by Drain Gang, and Shuda by Playboy Cardi and Little Uzi Vert. This song also acts as a form of propaganda for my favorite condiment, mayonnaise. We hope you enjoy. I don't remember that in Daria. Um, the next piece is also by Zeke. Hashtag swag. My intention for hashtag swag was to create as obnoxious of a song as possible by repeating the same lyric over and over, adding stutters, chops, and glitches to every second of the vocals, flooding the track with sound effects, and changing the speed of the song three different times. I think that I executed this pretty well. This song was influenced by the 2020 plug in hyperpop scenes, my favorite genres from my, from my freshman year in high school. We hope you enjoy. It's the holy month of Ramadan, but I think I might have just broken my fast just by watching that. Muslim jokes. <laughs> Our next piece is Leave, all instrumentation, recording, mixing, writing, and editing by Mo Hagenbutch, and the video is also by Zeke. 
This song is heavily influenced by Jane Remover's Census Designated. The first section uses a similar guitar composition and a, and a similar vocal style. The second section is more inspired by some of Porter Robinson's album Nurture, with a few different pianos and other electronic instruments. Finally, the third section is more of a shoegaze sound, taking inspiration from Quantic and Paranual. For the video, I experimented, I experimented with a lot of different effects, which blend uniquely. I hope you enjoy it.
That was Leave. Up next, a video clip of the AHS Honors Orchestra performing their song Ziguna Weisen at the Allstate at All States last week. We hope you enjoy. The AHS Honors Orchestra, everybody. Also, I know he hates the attention, but can we get another round of applause for that amazing solo by Jason Pan? That's terrific. Uh, next up is Retro Metro, production, mixing, mastering, filming, and editing by Sonia Bookholtz. We hope you enjoy.
Up next, Jazzy Parts 1 and 2 by Aiden Chackies. We hope you enjoy. Next up, South of Heaven by Ray Arnold. Here we present an evolution in sound and music. Orient the mind not to the sky, but to the earth. And listen. That's where they all go now. Not to the sky. But south of heaven.
you know, I never quite imagined heaven to sound like that. But then again, I am currently starving myself for God, so who knows? More Muslim jokes. Uh, up next, our next live piece, Oceanic Elegy, composed by James Coleman and performed by the wonderful AHS Honors Orchestra. James' statement reads, this is a piece that I love a lot. It was originally created to test out different ideas and chords, but it developed into a piece I truly like. I do think that the progression from testing to an actual piece is funny, especially because this is my first piece that's been played live. James, congratulations. I really loved how it turned out, and I think it's one of the best pieces I've ever composed. I also think the process behind the name of this piece is interesting. I had no idea how to name this piece originally, and Oceanic Elegy was originally just a placeholder name. The name came to me randomly, and I decided it fit well enough to use as a placeholder. However, when I finished the piece, I figured the name fit well. I feel the piece ebbs and flows like waves, as the title suggests. The piece is also melancholic, like an elegy. Ladies and gentlemen, we bring to you Oceanic Elegy, conducted by the one, the only, James Coleman. <laughs> Woo!
AHS Honors Orchestra again, everybody. And let's get another round of applause for James. One down, however many more you want to go. Anything's possible. Good God, I found insufferable. Anyway, our next piece is Summer Wind, scored and performed by ONG. We hope you enjoy. In a little bit. Very soon. I promise. See, the lights are on now. It's, it's great. There we go. Enjoy. <laughs> Our next piece, our next piece is lifted. This award-winning Pixar short was collaboratively re-scored and sound designed in our digital music lab. Folks, your taxes at work. The segment shown this evening features a title scene sequence scored by James Coleman and comedic sound design by Baron De Los Angles. We hope you enjoy.
Lift it, everybody. And let me just say, as a member of the MC Trade Union, I am very disappointed by the use of subtitles. You're going to put me out of a job. Union comedy? No, all right. <laughs> the next piece is Lion's Cage, a collaborative film scoring project. This pro um, the music tech class writes, this project was the second stage of our film scoring unit. We chose this Charlie Chaplin classic to exercise our film scoring chops as a collaborative group of students. Intro to Music Technology collaborated with our History of Music and Film students acting as special advisors to be sure we, we remain true to the historic style. Each score segment was drafted by music tech students individually and then compiled, reviewed, and added to by Mr. DiTomaso's film music honors students. The final copy was then formatted and sent to Mr. D'Agostino's honors orchestra to rehearse and synchronize for tonight's premiere performance. Please enjoy this classic silent film scene with a brand new score with Mr. Sabatino D'Agostino conducting. We hope you enjoy. Honors Orchestra, everybody. And up next, even more Honors Orchestra. What a surprise. Uh, this is another clip from All States last week, with this time the song being Tico Tico No Fuba. We hope you enjoy.
One more song to go, everybody. Our final piece is a performance of Elton John's Border Song. Uh, this is a collaborative finale between the AHS Honors Orchestra and the Contemporary Music Ensemble, featuring Roscoe Crema on piano and lead vocal and Jacoby Katzman on bass guitar, as well as three special guest vocalists, Melissa Conti, Lily Simcoe, and Spencer Cartman. Big thanks to them. This was a volunteer job. Uh, while we wait for the screen to go up, some fun facts about Border Song. It was released on Elton John's second album, self-titled Elton John. It was his first appearance on the charts. It was later covered two year. It was covered two years later by Aretha Franklin, and most recently, I found Willie Nelson did a cover did a cover of it in 2019 in 2018, which is wild. Um, we hope you enjoy. Well, that's all, folks. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Thank you to the Honors Orchestra, the Contemporary Music Ensemble. Uh, thank you to our special guest vocalists. Thank you to everybody at ACMI for filming this. Um, a massive thank you to Mr. DiTomasto, Mr. D'Agostino. <laughs> uh, 
As always, a massive thank you to Miss Way. Tomorrow is Good Friday, and while I don't think anybody's expecting the second coming of Christ to be the performing arts director at Arlington High, here we are. So thank you, Miss Way. Um, and in keeping with Christ's message of charity, if you would consider a donation on your way out, that would be great. Maybe buy some merch. Papa does great work. And again, thank you all so much for coming, and good night. I'm going to go eat something. <laughs>